Hey guys, I want to show a pretty cool demo of a couple of things that we can now do in our XAML, manage XAML apps that we could never do before prior to SharpDX. So in this demo, there's three things that I want to show off. So the first one is that red background. That's actually a, a radial gradient that's being drawn by SharpDX. So there's a radial gradient um, rectangle uh, with a, a shade of red. Uh, starting uh, from the center all the way out. It's a radial gradient of red and it's being drawn on a direct 2D surface. That's pretty cool. You, can, you can't do that in current XAML. And the second thing here is there is these animations going on. These are also drawn on the direct 2D surface by SharpDX. They're actually um, path geometries and they've been rendered using uh, mini path language. So if you have, um, you can just create a vec uh, in blend or in, um, expression design. Just create your um, your assets using mini path language and just copy that that data, and then you can actually use that data to create sprites and render those as path geometries. Um, they're actually called path geometries on your direct two D surface. I'll show that in code. And the third thing are these rectangles. So these colored rectangles, they're actually XAML rectangles and they they sit on top of the, the Direct2D surface underneath. And I've created a special control called the inertial layer. Each of those rectangles are drawn in their own inertial layer and each inertial layer has a different set of configurations and one of those configurations, configurations is sensitivity. So each of those layers, they, they inertially scroll at a certain sensitivity so and they're all different. So like as you can see here, they give this sort of parallax effect because they're all um, inertially scrolling um, at different sensitivities, and they're, each of these layers are infinitely scrolling. So you, these can scroll all the way to the right indefinitely, all the way to the left, up, down indefinitely, and I think I've just lost them. Oh, there they are. And and they also res these inertial layers they respond to the the manipulation delta or the velocities that your finger is moving the screen at so so if I move it slow it's gonna move slow but if I move it fast it's gonna move fast right and then it just gives a really cool effect so that, that that's the third thing there is this new control that is called the in, um, inertial layer and there's four of those on here and the, the inertial layers are driven by a conductor um, and the conductor is the one that sends updates to each of the inertial layers but yeah, so this is just shows that um, XAML with Direct2D and SharpDX, and, and there you can see the the um, the performance of this app. And there is a memory leak, but it's still pretty good because it's it's sitting at like about it averages at about seven percent uh, CPU, and yeah, it's pretty good for what it's doing. And it's not optimized at all because there's a lot of things that I'm doing on the Direct 2D surface that is not optimal. I'm not caching anything. I'm redrawing everything on every single frame. I have I am having issues with the frame rates. I have to reduce the frame rates to get a smoother effect because of um, the for some reason the manipulation deltas that's being returned back for, to draw the um, inertial layers, the rectangles. That's interfering with the the frame rates. Um, with the direct 2D surface rendering, so I have to reduce the um, direct surface rendering to so that the deltas that come back from the manipulation delta are um, are usable. 